Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video we're going to be going over how to take advantage of plotting trend lines for technical analysis that will help you out with your day trading. So uh, this is going to go into the day trading uh, tips series, so to help you guys obviously out with day trading technical analysis as well as fundamental analysis. So if you want to check out other videos from that series, go ahead and uh, go to my channel and just peruse through all those videos and you'll see the day trading tips series. So um, what are trend lines used for, right? So trend lines, obviously it's in the name, uh, useful for establishing trends and plotting trends. So what you're going to be doing for this tool is using the trend line tool as well as you can also use the parallel channel tool. So starting off, you're just going to select the trend line tool and guys, um, just before we get into plotting these trend line calls. So getting into these trend lines, like I said, um, you're just going to be looking for basically a, a long term support. So trend lines are similar to support and resistance, support and resistance lines, basically, but um, they are not horizontal most of the time. So trend lines will usually follow the price of the asset. Uh, a lot closer than um, support and resistance lines do. So as you can see, this is a long-term trend line support of Bitcoin's price currently um, over uh, against the dollar. And then of course on the top, you would just want to try to plot uh, as parallel as possible. Obviously with this, we aren't seeing much of anything since uh, there's only one point really up here from that all time high. So we're just gonna try to plot it as parallel as possible and go with that. So now that we've done that, um, you know, we can go into smaller charts and actually plot uh, more recent trend lines. So uh, this can be helpful to identify the current, you know, most recent trend, as well as the reason we plotted the long term trend is to get a better idea of where the assets price has been moving long term. So uh, we'll go ahead and try to plot this as close as possible. I like to see as many uh, points touch as possible. So try to get those two points to touch here and as you can see we have a top resistance trend line uh, showing the uh, the descending trend um, over the last six months so um, I would go ahead and plot the bottom support uh, I can actually do that just to show you guys but it's going to be very similar to the current support that we've already plotted just going to be a little bit more uh, horizontal so there's the bottom support line um, of the overall six month trend that we've been seeing. So now that we jump into the, uh, we've done the six month, now we jump into the three month and identify the trends there. So go ahead and do that. And as you can see, the six month trend that we've just plotted lines up in our three month uh, time period. And also, um, you know, we can go ahead and plot this, but it's more of a horizontal trend at this point, uh, as we can see plotting the three month uh, top resistance of the trend and then if we did plot the bottom it would basically line up directly with our six months so now we can jump into the one month chart identify the trend line here and go ahead and do that and there you go there is the overall trend for the one month and again um, you know we're not going to go ahead and plot the one month uh, we could try to do this but again uh, you're going to notice that it is more so a uh, a horizontal support um, and also it doesn't exactly line up on the bottom. You can see that there's really only, only one point we could connect if we did it across the bottom, but uh, we just went ahead and did uh, the overall trend. So um, let me just adjust this a little bit, just give it a little bit of a lower trend. So now that we have identified this one month, you can jump into the five day and also the one day. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that just because this is only for people that are day trading. And also, um, oftentimes, I don't even plot the trend lines for the five day and the one day, just because it gets a little bit cluttered. But now that we zoom out, we can see the overall trend, right? So clearly, uh, you know, long term, we are moving up. Um, in the last six months, we've been moving down obviously but it looks like we are starting to stabilize on the bottom supports and begin our move up again so hopefully you know we keep this trend uh, looks like the top resistance is about 10,000 so we'll look to move between about uh, 7,000 and 10,000 between that zone uh, in the next few months or so and then break out from there and continue this uh, upwards trend line that we've seen long term so this is the helpful part of trend lines can help you identify not only the long term um, movement of price and where we can expect the price to go, but also the short term uh, starting to plan for moves that we will expect uh, in the coming months. So 
that's really what trend lines are used for, helpful for predicting future prices based off previous um, historical prices. As long as the fundamentals check out, of course, you're obviously going to need to um, review the fundamentals of a coin or a stock or a project, whatever you're looking into pretty often uh, just to make sure that that all checks out. And the reason for this downtrend isn't because of a company's fundamentals or a project's fundamentals. So um, trend lines, helpful uh, tool for technical analysis can help you kind of split up the channels um, for a specific uh, asset. So basically, you know, you always want to be plotting your trend lines before you do any technical analysis so you have an idea of where the price of the asset is moving. So let me know in the comments what other uh, indicators you got and tools you guys want to um, see videos made on for our day trading tips series. Uh, there are a ton of indicators and tools that I'm going, I'm planning on going into, but I want to do uh, explain the ones that you guys really use um, first off. So definitely let me know which ones you guys want to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video.